right, I'd like to welcome in Rolex rankings number 15, Kari Webb. Kari, good day out there, a little tough end. Just take us through those last two holes. Um, well, first off, I, I played really, really solidly today. Um, I missed a couple of short putts in my first uh, four holes um, and then settled in and turned two under. So um, felt pretty good at the turn and, and played really well. Um, just a uh, couple of bad swings in 17 and then... Um, <laughs> Uh, which went right, and then the anti-right swing off the tee on 18. So, um, uh, just a, not a great, great finish, but obviously only two shots behind. And um, you know, I feel good with how I'm playing, and I just got to do that again tomorrow. Take us through the stretch of, I guess, eight through 12. You had four birdies out of your five holes. Was that very, really key? Was there anything particularly in that stretch that stood out? Um, I think um, I went for the green on eight, and um, you know, it was really. Not that much to carry, but you're hitting off a off a down slope, and um, it was a, you know um, pitched a little right to left, and um, you know I could have easily have just not backed myself there and laid it up and tried to make birdie, but um, you know I trusted myself and trusted how I'd been feeling that I was swinging it, and um, you know I hit a great five wood onto the green there, and two putted for birdie. So um, I think just the fact that I backed myself there, um, and instead of you know, maybe not trusting that I could pull that shot off was, was key for me today, and that sort of really got me going. Now, we just looked up your, you made your 49th consecutive cut this okay. week. <laughs> Leads the tour currently for consecutive made cuts. Just talk about the combination of consistency and your longevity right now in the state of your game. You keep making cuts, you're in contention. Just talk about the com combination of that. Um, well, I think uh, that's the longest stretch in my career, I guess. Um, I knew I'd had two seasons in a row without missing a cut, but I didn't know what the number was. Um, but I think it's, um, you know, I mean, I think that's just as important um, um, in, a, in looking at someone's state of their game is that yeah. you're making cuts, you know, um, you're not that far away from, from playing really well. And I feel like that's, that's where I'm at, um, you know. And, uh, you know, this week, didn't know how I particularly play uh, this course, but um, you know, I got up to a good start on Thursday and really settled in, and, and I've, I've played well since then. You said you put a lot of extra work in coming into this week, a lot of video, a lot of things like that. Are you big on analytic, analytics through video and emailing and going back and forth with your coach? Uh, yes and no. Um, uh, I think you can overdo it, and mm -hmm. so I try. I mean, I only did one, one video um, on, on Monday, um, and then you know, I just sent that and we um, discussed what we needed to, we, and I discussed it <coughs> on Sunday night as well before I, before I practiced on Monday. Um, and, um, you know, those, those things paid off. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing what technology I was on my mobile phone, had it on speakerphone and had the swing up on my phone and we were going through, through the swing. So, um, yeah, and then actually comparing two swings at one time on the phone while I'm talking on the phone. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty amazing what you can do these days.